Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to use uh, how to control the dock on Mac, Mac OS X. This is a uh, Lion 10.7.4. This will work on uh, uh, Mountain Lion 10.8. Point whatever, uh, 10.6, 10.5, 10.4. It probably work on earlier ones too. So to control your dock, if you hover over the dotted line, the divider between uh, the two portions of the dock on the right hand side, um, the mouse cursor will turn into a double white arrow. Right click that. If you turn hiding on, the dock will hide unless your mouse is hovered over the bottom of the screen. Okay. Turn hiding off, right click again, turn hiding off. If you want to position the dock on the left or right hand side of the screen, right click, position on the screen, left. There you go. Hover the divider again till the double white arrow appears. Position on the screen, right. It's now on the right. Right click again, position on the screen, bottom. If you want to turn the magnification of the icons off, so when you uh, hover over the dock, the icons scale and enlarge as your mouse cursor hovers over. I actually like this effect, but if you want to turn it off, right click, turn the magnification off. There you go, they're all the same size. It just highlights a little bubble when you hover over the, the uh, specific app you want to launch. Okay. Now, if you talk, if you want to turn that back on again, the magnific magnification, click on Turn Magnification On. Now, if you launch an app, for example, to System Preferences, if you close the app, on System Preferences it actually closes. If you open Safari, for example, and you then close it up here, if you're used to Windows or Linux, you think that the app is actually closed, but by the fact that there's a little blue light on the dock under the app, that means the app is still running. And if you look at the menu bar at the top, Safari is still there. So you can either go to Safari, Quit Safari, or if it's open and you've closed the window, you can right click the icon, New Window, the new Safari window will open, close that. You can also go to quit. Now then, if you go to Macintosh hard drive, applications folder, if you want an application from here to appear on the dock, you drag it from the applications folder onto the dock. You're just basically creating a shortcut to the application on the dock. There you go, QuickTime Player is now on the dock. If you want to remove that shortcut from the dock, you click drag, oh sorry, click, drag, little puff of smoke icon will appear, let go and it will vanish. The application is still there, look, quick time player, still there but you just removed the shortcut. If you want to rearrange the dock, you click on an icon, hold it down, that was too long, click it, drag it around, don't let go because it will disappear drag it around and all the other icons will move out the way and make a space for it so you can put it there for example or move it there okay now then in launchpad you can actually create folders of applications if I wanted QuickTime Player and iTunes to be in the same folder so I can find them more easily under a category you click and hold the icons will start to jiggle drag it across to iTunes on top of it a little square will appear let go it's now inside a folder called music click once on the blank space you've now got a folder called music click back on the blank space and you're back to the desktop so that's the dock thanks very much